guys, welcome back to the Words and Nazo Transfer Show. On today's episode, we have Sally Montari who wants to join Kaiser Chiefs, Tumelan Kune to Orlando Pirates, and the return of the prodigal son as Mukwena returns to Mamelodi Sundowns. Right before we get into the episode, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications so you are always up to date with the latest PSL news. Our first story of the episode takes us to Limpopo. As Kapinga agrees, Black Leopard stay. Black Leopards have revealed that some of their key players have agreed to extend their contracts. Litsidi Kapinga has agreed to stay at the Limpopo Bayside for the next two months. His previous contract with Lada Duva expired at the end of June, but he is now willing to stay until the end of the season. The players agreed an extension for the remaining six matches, but Leopards were coy and refused to comment on Kapinga's reported move to PSL Giants Mamelodi Sundowns. Has Kapinga made the right choice by agreeing to complete the season with his current employers in Black Leopards before securing a big money move elsewhere? Please let me know in the comments below. Our next story takes us to Kaiser Chiefs as the Chiefs castaway already has three offers. Joseph Molongwane's manager has revealed that three clubs are after the signature of the former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder who left the Soweto Giants last week. But the player's agent has come out and stated that there are offers for the current free agent. We already have about three offers. I'll make sure he gets employment. But for now, we just have to finish everything and finalize the move with Chiefs. The past two seasons have seen Molongwane being injury belated which deprived him of game time before he was released by Chiefs. Please let me know in the comments below if you think Joseph Molongwane can still contribute to a PSL team. Staying in Soweto as Kune has reportedly moved to Orlando Pirates. Kaiser Chiefs fans were devastated by the thought of losing their goalkeeper in Tumelan Kune to Orlando Pirates. The rumors of Kune leaving the Glamour Boys started making the rounds on social media. Hashtag Kune signs for Pirates originated from an altered screenshot from an article back in 2015 during a period when Kune had a standoff with Kaiser Chiefs over a new contract. With Orlando Pirates being a fierce crosstown rival, the rumor that Kune was poised to dump Amakosi for the Buccaneers spread like wildfire on social media over the past 48 hours. But the entire story originates as his younger brother Jacob Kune signed his first professional contract with Pirates, with Orlando Pirates signing Kune, which was taken out of context and made to look like the Bafano Bafano goalkeeper had joined the Soweto Giants. The entire story was Kune's young brother joined Orlando Pirates development team, which the entire story was taken out of context and has been labeled as fake news. Guys, please let me know in the comments below the power of fake news and could there be a move for Kune to Orlando Pirates on the cards? Please let me know in the comments below. Switching flanks in Soweto to Orlando Pirates is Portuguese outfit table mega shonga bid. Orlando Pirates have received a multi-million offer from sporting the club Marichimo as a mega build for Zambian striker Justin Shonga. The Portuguese outfit were after the services of the Zambian hitman after it emerged who was frustrated at Orlando Pirates and the forward was looking for a fresh start elsewhere. The player's agent has confirmed that the Portuguese Premier Liga club were keen to lure the striker to Europe and made it clear that the two clubs would have to open talks for a potential move to materialize. Sources have indicated that sporting the club Marishimo are serious and have offered Orlando Pirates around 15 million rands to take Shonga off their hands. There has been an inquiry for Shonga from Marishimo in Portugal. However, the decision still rests with Orlando Pirates, where he currently has a contract. The interested party has approached the club and will take it from there. It remains to be seen whether Orlando Pirates would cash in as especially in the current economic climate. With such a massive transfer fee, would they let the Zambian international go? Guys, please let me know in the comments below if 15 million rands is a good deal for Lando Pirates to take for Justin Shonga. Now we switch flanks to the other side of Soweto as Ndlovu set for Maritzburg return. The young 
precocious midfielder could make a surprise return to Marysburg United after struggling to get game time at Orlando Pirates. The 23-year-old joined the Buccaneers at the beginning of the season but has found it hard to get a regular game time at Pirates. Drovo has only made 9 appearances in the league so far and sources have revealed that he could rejoin Marysburg on a loan from Pirates at the beginning of next season to revive his career. Drovo is keen on going back to Marysburg in order to revive his career but talks between Pirates and Marysburg are only set to begin at the end of the current season. Eric Tinkler wants him back at Marysburg and I would like to say everything depends on the talks that are set to take place at the end of the season between Marysburg and Orlando Pirates. Guys please let me know in the comments below if Ndlovu deserves another chance in the Pirates starting 11 or he should move back to Marysburg on loan. As we stick with the Buccaneers we have a breaking story as Rolani Mukwena officially returns to Mamelodi Sundowns. It has been confirmed that former Mamelodi the Sundowns assistant coach Rolani Mukwena is expected to rejoin the Clear Cup side in the same capacity. Having parted ways with the club back in 2017 to join arch rivals in Orlando Pirates, Mukwena will travel to Rustenburg to join the Brazilians in camp as soon as he receives the results of his COVID-19 tests. If everything goes to plan, he will join the team by the end of next week. The president of Mamalodi Sundowns, Dr. Patrice Mutsipe, welcomed Mukwena back home to Mamelodi Sundowns as the family and the club looks to reinforce the technical team as they continue to aspire and dominate in South Africa and overseas, namely the CAF Champions League as they try to earn a second star for the club and beyond. Guys, please let me know your comments down below as Rulani has returned back home to Pizzo and Mamelodi Sundowns. Please let me know what you think of the move down in the comments below. We switch later back to Kaiser Chiefs as Sally Montari wants a Chiefs move. Former Inter and AC Milan midfielder Sally Montari says he's open to playing in the PSL and he would choose Kaiser Chiefs over Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns if the opportunity arises. According to his South African based agent, the 35 year old is weighing up his options for his next move. He's given me a mandate to talk to clubs in South Africa. He's keen on playing in the PSL next season. The player's agent has been rumored to be engaged in talks with a few clubs and in the next few days a deal could be struck to see the Ghanaian international in South Africa next season. Describing Chiefs as one of his favorite clubs in South Africa, the 35-year-old ex-AC Milan star is currently a free agent. Describing Kaiser Chiefs as his favorite club in South Africa, the ex-AC Milan star is currently a free agent and he's been closely following Amokosi. I would love to come and play in South Africa because they have great teams there. Sundowns is there, Pirates is there, but my favorite one is Chiefs. I don't know why I've been following Chiefs for the moment, but I love the way they are and everything. So if I'm going to South Africa, the only team I want and I'll play for is Kaiser Chiefs. Guys, please let me know in the comments below if a 35-year-old Sally Montari would fit in into Kaiser Chiefs midfield plus Chiefs have the band that they still have to deal with. But is Sally Montari a good option to bring to Kaiser Chiefs? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next episode.